Hey guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now this video is probably gonna be shorter than most of my regular videos. Uh, my wife has a torn retina and we had to make a couple emergency trips up to Chicago for surgery. She's had four laser surgeries in her eye and tomorrow being Friday, we are going up for one more surgery, a cryogenic surgery. So while you guys are watching this, we're up in Chicago and she is getting her eye blasted one more time and we sure are hoping this takes care of everything. So think good thoughts and really appreciate it. Now, one of the things that most noobs struggle with is finding the right preset to work with them on a new modeler. It doesn't matter the brand. The first thing that we usually do is go through all the factory presets and see if there's any in there that work for us. Now, we all have differing opinions on what's a keeper. For example, I'm an edge of breakup slash low gain guy where, hey, you might be a deathcore guy. It's doubtful that we'd reach a consensus and hey, you know, that's fine. The Helix can work across many genres. I'm not deleting my factory presets, but there just isn't much in there that interests me. I mean, it's not that they're bad, but there's just nothing so far that has wowed me. So at this point, it seems if I want to move forward, I have one of two choices, third party presets or learn how to make my own. Now for those that choose to buy their third party presets, it's usually because they prefer the work of a particular creator. Now some of these creators spend hundreds and hundreds of hours working on their preset packs. They might even have the right physical amps in their collection that they can use to reference during the preset building process. They also might have a great workspace where they can create their presets at gig volume. And they also have the knowledge on how to craft a preset correctly. These are the creators you should be looking out for. Now if your wallet is currently on a cash free diet, you might want to check out the free presets at Line6's Custom Tone site. You'll find close to 9,500 free Helix presets there. Now an awful lot of them are dogs in my opinion, but the first preset that I found that made me go, wow, was found at the Custom Tone site. So you'll find some diamonds in the rough, but you'll have to work to excavate them. The other option that I mentioned is creating your own presets. Now with the Helix, that can be dead simple if you're creating simple presets. But you need to know the amp models, the cabs, how to mic the cabs, the effects, and how to put them all together correctly. Some guys take to this like a duck takes to water. For other guys, they are just lost. They have no idea what to do. Now if you're in that clueless category, hey, it's not your fault. You just don't know what you need to know yet. Now the manuals can help, but of course that involves a lot of reading. And there's also a ton of free YouTube videos out there that'll help you on learning how to make your own presets. Line 6 also has a lot of helpful videos. So there's a boatload of information out there that you can use to build the perfect preset, but you can always just try winging it and seeing what happens. I mean, it's not like you're going to blow anything up, you're not going to break your helix. But you do need to be aware that if you're going to do this yourself, the best way to do it is at gig volume. If you create a preset that sounds great at low volume in your bedroom, chances are at a gig it is going to sound horrible. And you can thank our good old friend Fletcher Munson for that. One other thing to remember, regardless whether you're making your own presets, buying presets, or downloading free presets, and you do gigging, always try them at band rehearsal first. Never, ever, ever try a new preset at a gig. You don't want any sudden surprises at a gig while the audience is staring at you and you're on stage fumbling and sweating. No. Anyway, here's a little demo of a very simple preset that I made.
So, do you roll your own? Do you go third party? Or do you have a mix of both? Let me know what works for you guys. And let me know of any great third party presets that you've found. All right, now next Wednesday, we are gonna take a look at using the cloud with the Fender Tone Master Pro. Now, you don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I'll be talking with you next Wednesday.